what is going on guys welcome back to another video so i'm about to go pick off the clone zone which is our consolation prize after losing on the on the auction on the biosafety cabinet uh, which went for 185 dollars which I, I would have won it if uh if it didn't if it wasn't for my for my wi-fi that went out i would i would have been probably close to 300 dollars and i think i would have won the auction anyways uh, we move on um so the clone zone i'm about to go pick it up um i want to take you with me forever i um, apologize in advance because i want to be discreet and i probably just want to put my phone in my pocket and i want to record on probably on the vertical position so hello i am here to um pick up on an action and also um i have some items for action as well for the soft lock. Plant Science is here to drop off some surplus and they also have some stuff that they uh, bought and they want to pick up. Yeah, you can send them around, it's an hour right here. Handle? Yeah, he's ready to go. Can you taste this or? Um, you'll have it on his iPad. Okay, cool. Thanks. Alright, let's drive to the back of the building. I don't know what it is, it's over there, it looks like a, that's a growth chamber and they're right next to it, it looks like a lamina flow. This. Okay, it's just a, uh, what is this? It's a bio, okay, it's a bio. Is this an action already? Or no? no, it's getting ready to go on. Oh, it's about to go on. Yeah. Okay. All right. New air. Do you know where this came from? Ah, uh, it should be say on here. So right here, biomedical and diagnostic sciences. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I mean, it is a lamina flow. It doesn't have a stand, right? What I can see. Everything here is. It's what, what it is. Yeah. All right. This is all they gave us. All right. Doesn't. Okay. And doesn't say if it works or not, right? Uh, Condition or not, maybe? Not that I know of, it doesn't say. Doesn't so. say. Alright, it has been disinfected. There's the last date on the service was May 23rd, 2019. 2019, it's been a while. They usually um, certify every year. Okay. Is this the only one you have any other uh, like this? That's the only one that I know we have right now. Okay. So the, I have seen this quite often, right? Um, well, not quite often, but every now and then they use any one of these shows. You may get one of these like every three or four months. Yeah. Every, it just depends. And then sometimes you get like two or three at one time. So Yeah, yeah, they show up, yeah. I lost, they have one of these on the, the medical center. Uh-huh mean condition pretty much i'm probably maybe five years max old everything worked fine it's just that 
all of these uh, labs they work with grants and they uh, they grow some new money so they uh -huh. bought, just bought a new one oh, okay and yeah. I lost so I lost on the last minute uh, I lost my Wi-Fi connection and I lost on the auction for a hundred and eighty five dollars uh -huh. and that was a ten thousand dollars cabinet really yeah wow somebody got a good deal somebody got a good deal so yeah. that's kind of uh that can do kind of this kind of similar stuff lab work to what i want to do uh, but yeah the other one would have been much yeah. better but anyways that's okay okay yeah i'm always looking for lab equipment to see what i can find okay well, yeah. yeah i'd say we it's probably about i want to say three or four months ago we had one in Every month. okay yeah it's actually more by often yeah all right well thanks so much all right, man. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got it. So let's go home now. Yeah. So it is. Um, I saw it. This clone zone. I saw this once. It didn't look. Um, I mean, it looks alright. It has a, a bunch of scratches, but it's acrylic. Acrylic can be. Um, you can remove some of the scratches. So I'll see what I can do. Uh, so I'll go take it to the lab and let's do a walk. I'll see you in a moment. Alrighty. Here we go. Here it is. Ah, okay, here is the clone zone. Oh, it's heavier than it looks. It's all acrylic. Ah, very thick acrylic. About a one inch acrylic. So it looks pretty nice. Let me go close the door and I mean, I'll be back. All right. So we have the clones on. I think I need to move the camera a little further back. There we go. I think that's better. All right. I think I need to do some work with this door. Oh, it's broken. Uh, I think it's supposed to have some hinges here and they are broken. It looks and it, it looks like it has a very rough condition, so I mean, it's what it is. Um, so, Gop deals, uh, item number, whatever it is, June 21st, that was when the action ended. Uh, the clones are nuclear acid workstation. So, what this is, is basically, um, it is not a lamina flow, hood, that's for sure, but it is used for, um, it is a clean box. Uh, it is used to do some sterile work. I mean, I won't say fully sterile work. I will say some clean work where you don't want to have, uh, where you want to keep it as clean as possible, don't have as much contaminants as possible. So, well, let's take a look if it works. So, let's get rid of this. Uh, what is it? The clone zone nuclear acid workstation. So, first impression, yeah, it does look very rough. Um, the acrylic has has better days, that's for sure. Let me get rid of this tape. Um, trash. All right. So um, has a lot of scratches on it. Um, I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to to take some of this out, but I mean, that's okay. So let's see how, how, how it looks. So it has this clean area right here. Basically, you can, let me put it like this. So let's say I'm working in here. And then I can work like this. And then I can do my sterile work. Now it is going to be a little annoying that this is so scratch up, but I'll see if I can get some of those scratches out. Uh, we'll see, whatever. Well, anyways, um, so you can work in here. Look at this. It has. Uh, I need to do something here. Maybe put some magnets so if I can, it can stay close. It's supposed to have some uh, hinges in here, but. One is missing and the other one is broken. So, anyways, oh, this is so I can so they can stay open. But the velcro is done. I mean, that's not a big deal. You can put some new velcro. Um, look at this. This has for the extension for a cord. So in case you're working with 
something that it makes electricity you can pass it to here the other side also has one okay so that's cool uh, maybe if i want to use the glad bead sterilizer i can use this um let's turn it one more time uh, I, I would guess well this is the back side and it has this uh, door that just goes up so that's cool all right uh, it does have um, a fluorescent and a UV light so let me let me plug this in and let's test it out so I have a plug just right in here let me plug this let's see if it works oh okay 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 let me turn this off okay that was the UV light um, well that was the fluorescent light now where am I going? So um, it has a UV light. I want to be using my UV protection glasses. So I don't want to to lose this straight directly into the UV light. So let me put the some protection. Let's let's see if it works. So let's let's see. So this is the fluorescent light. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, let's check the UV light. Put this off. Uh, the UV light doesn't seem to work. I, I think the. Uh, oh wait, I think I know why it doesn't work. It's some plug, I think. I think it is some plug. Oh, what is this? Ah, I think... Hold on. I think there is something wrong with here. Let me unplug this for a second. Now let me turn this around. It seems like I may be able to take the top off. Oh yes. Okay. All right, that was a bad idea. Okay. Um. All right. So let me put this in here. That is on. What is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. I see okay so it does have a light switch a switch in here with I'm pretty sure it doesn't allow to I'm pretty sure you had to probably open it the, I'm sorry close it fully so the UV light turns on because it looks good so let me do that let me how do I do this well let me put this back this is heavy. Oh, there we go. Let me throw this back. Alright, so that's the fluorescent light. Let me grab my glasses. Uh, so that's a UV light. It's off, but let me put this here. Let me close it. Uh, I cannot tell if it's on or not. No, it's definitely off. So something doesn't work with the UV light. Uh, that's okay. Uh, that's okay. I don't think I'll be using that that much. 
Um, so this will be good for um, doing some like beginner work. Uh, you don't have like a lamina flojo. I mean, I got this one. Um, for the price, I mean, I wish the acrylic was not as a scratch as it is. I don't know if you can. Oh, you can probably tell like that now. All the scratches. It definitely needs some. I definitely need to give it a good clean from the inside. But yeah, I can definitely feel pretty rough. Um, for the price, I mean, eh, it's okay. I mean, it's very thick acrylic. Like I say, it's very heavy. Uh, it has a timer here. Uh, that's for the UV light. Oh, you know what? That's why they didn't work. That's why it doesn't work. Let me let me try again. So let me put this. Oh, it says past two hundred. There you go. It has a timer on top, and I'm pretty sure now the UV light is on. Well, maybe, maybe not. Is it? I don't think it's on. No, it's not. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. It's turning on now. Okay, it's on. It's definitely on now. Uh, UV light is on. Okay, so it works. So that's good. It has a timer on top, like I say. So that was actually pretty good. I can turn it on and that it took a little, it took a few seconds. So that may be a, a feature that it has that you turn it on, get out of here come back whenever the timer is off and automatically it's going to show the turn off so that may be a good feature to have uh, that way you don't actually have to have safety glasses i mean it's always good to have but okay so maybe after the timer is done okay yeah you can see it has to be completely off it has to completely completely this one doesn't matter so this one it has a switch in here and you have to be present okay so for this one i probably need to find a hinge or something a way to keep it close like i said probably magnets will do ah it's okay all right let me turn it off and let me take the time well the timer is going to run off um so it's a neat clean box uh, it's cool I I think this would be perfect uh, whenever if I want to do like a demonstration somewhere where uh, instead of doing like a use a box I can just use this if I think we want to be cleaner so I can I, I can just only put my hands in and I don't have to it was, it's not going to be completely open uh, also I have a friend who is um, he's a elementary school teacher and he wants me to um, to see if I can do any any work on the school just to to, to teach the kids um, and I think it would be this would be very useful uh, as obviously I won't be able to take my lamina flow with me but I can definitely take this with me and then do some demonstrations so I think that would be great um, I wonder how much this is I want to make a call and see how, how much it costs um, because I couldn't find any price for this and then I find some places that say this online but it only says uh, call or ask for a quote so we'll see all right uh, next video I want this on next video I want to use this and see if I can do some tissue culture so that will be interesting all right I hope you have enjoyed it and then I'll see you in the next video goodbye all right guys so i wasn't able to to find the price from the company but i found one on ebay for 499.99 plus 139.99 dollars for shipping and apparently it is on 50 percent off and it's used it is used one available good condition showing signs of normal use uh side glass is scratched off i mean it's a critic uh the inside box needs to be in place Pull it from government, governmental surplus. Please see pictures. Oh my gosh. So whoever bought this, they just resold it. 
por $4.99.99. Look at that. Y dos cabe de. It has some of the scratches kind of the same as the one I have. And the bows has to be in place. This one, the bows works. The hinges doesn't work. This one, this one you can see it has the hinges on it. But they are reselling this for $4.99.99. And they are charging $139. $140 for shipping. I bought it for $50. So, I mean, I got a decent deal. Like I said, I'm not... I mean, yeah, I'm happy with it, uh, but it's not like a oh amazing deal. Uh, I pay more for this one than my other lam my actual lamina flow hood. So, I mean, uh, it's okay. So four ninety nine. Uh, so, I mean, it was a decent find. So, all right, I'll see you next time. Hey everyone, Bye. thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these Tissue Culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plancelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.